Hey guys, and welcome back to creating your very own Minecraft animation. Andrew here, and I've just created a new folder, and I'm going to create another new folder inside of that called My Art Models. And what we're going to do in this lesson is take the Minecraft world we just created and export that into a 3D object, which we can then import into our 3D program. So once you've downloaded and installed uh, Mineways, again, links in the description, uh, open that up, and we'll just maximize that here. And we're going to go to File. Open world, Whoop, there we go, uh, and find our world, island animation, and you can see a top down view, a left click to pan around here, and just scroll wheel will zoom you in, okay, so just zoom in, right click draws out a box that we can use to select which bit we want to export, um, you have this warning message come up, just hit OK, and along the top we have two sliders here, max height, lower depth, take the lower depth slider from 3 to 4, that's just going to exclude this bottom grass layer. So the only thing we're exporting is just this island. You can see that highlighted here in purple. Once that's done, we need to select the texture pack. I'm just going to select the default uh, terrain.png. If you guys don't have this default texture, again, uh, if you download my project file, it is in the description. So we can just go to File, Select Terrain.png. And I'm just going to select that there. Finally, I'm going to export this now for rendering. So file, export for rendering, and uh, I'm just going to navigate to my folder in here somewhere. There we go, <laughs> my models. And again, I can just call this model version 01 and click save. Uh, you'll be prompted with all these options. Uh, just leave these set to the default and hit OK. And that's all there is to it. Now we have a 3D object. I'm going to open up Maya. And to start off, I can just go to File and Import. And I can now navigate to this folder, Island Animation, Maya Models. And you can see we have this uh, model01.obj. And that's a commonly recognized object f uh, format for 3D programs. Select that and hit import. Alright, and bam, there it is. So the first thing I'm going to do is select everything here and I'm going to go edit, group, or control G. Okay, now I've grouped all these things together. I'm going to rename this island underscore grp for group. With the group still selected, I'm going to head over to the channel box and scale this up to 100 on the X, Y, and Z. So now you can see we've made this a lot larger because um, when we initially import it, it's quite small and uh, it's important that we have it in a real world size for lighting later on. Okay, so we've done that now. With the group still selected, I'm going to go to Modify, Freeze Transforms and that's going to set our scale back to 1. So now this is just uh, has all the original values and we're good to go. Now what you're seeing at the moment is a wireframe model. Uh, we want to see this textured, so you can either click on this little textured button here and also the shaded button. Um, alternatively, the keyboard shortcut is 6. And now you can see we have, um, we have our model here in Maya. Exciting stuff. Um, in case you don't know, the way I'm navigating this viewport, I'm holding down the Alt key and left mouse button to orbit Alt key and the middle mouse button to pan and the Alt key and the right mouse button to zoom in and out. Okay, so if uh, if I forget to remind you what the keyboard shortcut is for anything, um, please just look it up. It's, um, yeah, it's easily found on Google. Google is your best friend. Okay, uh, I think that'll leave it here for this lesson. Um, let me just quickly check my notes. Uh, I will see you in the next lesson.